Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back with Minaden. Imagine having ChatGPT available on your computer for free, no internet needed. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install and chat with any open source AI model right on your own machine. So outside of services like ChatGPT or Claude, you can actually download and run large language models or AI models locally. There are a few ways to do this, but one of the best tools available today is Olama. It's free, open source, and makes it super easy to get started. Running models locally means you get privacy, security, and best of all, it's completely free. And if you're a developer, Olama also comes with an HTTP server so you can call these models straight from your own programs. Alright, let's jump in and get started. Now before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. So first of all, you need to install Olama on your computer, so just head over to olama.com, I will leave the link in the description as well. And here, just click download, and choose your operating system. I'm on Mac OS, so I would choose this one, but you can also install the app on Linux or Windows. Once the app is downloaded, just run the installer and we'll move on to the next step. Once you've installed Olama, just run the application on your computer, and you should see this chat interface similar to ChatGPT or Claude. If nothing happens on your screen, then you should look for the Olama icon on the system tray. For Mac, it's up here on the top right side, just click on the icon and there's this small menu. For Windows, you might find this icon on the system tray, which is usually located at the bottom right side. So I would just click on the open Olama option here, and this will open the chat interface where I can start chatting with the models. Another way to access Olama is to open up a command prompt or terminal window, and then in the terminal, simply type Olama and press enter. If you install Olama correctly, you should see this usage and available commands output. Okay, now that Olama is up and running, the next step is to check out the open models you can download and use. Just head back to olama.com and open the models menu here. And there, you should see a list of all the available models that you can run in Olama. It's virtually all of the best open models in the world today. That being said, just because you can download a model doesn't always mean you'll be able to run it. Since these models run locally, you'll need enough storage to download them and enough RAM and computing power to actually load and use them. For example, let's open the Llama 2 model here and we can see all variants of the Llama 2 model listed on this page. The model parameters range from 7 billion, 13 billion, to 70 billion. You can think of the model parameters as the model's brains. Generally, the higher the parameter count, the better the AI model performs, but the hardware requirements to run the model is also higher. Down here, we can see the memory requirements. It says you should have at least 8GB of RAM to run the 7B models, 16GB for the 13B models, and 64 gigabyte for the 70 B models. So basically, the rule of thumb is about 1 gigabyte of RAM per billion parameters, plus a little extra for your computer system. Okay, so let's install one of the models available here and run it on Olama. Some nice models to try out are Gemma Tree, which is the open source model created by Google, and Mistral AI. To install the model, go back to the terminal and just type Olama run, followed by the name of the model you want to run. For example, let's add Mistral and then press enter. And now we can see that Olama is downloading the model for us. This will take some time, so I will skip a bit to when it's finished. Okay, so the model has been downloaded here, and we can start chatting with the Mistral model. Let's just say hi here. And here's the response from the model. The response is typed just like in ChatGPT. You can keep chatting with the AI here, and when you're done, you can type slash bye to end the chat session. When you want to run a chat again, just type Olama run again here. And yep, so that's how you can run AI models with Olama, you can have as many models as you want, and then you can list the downloaded models by running the Olama list command. And if you run out of space, you can also delete models by running the Olama RM command, followed by the name of the model you want to remove. To list all commands, just type Olama again like before. Now, you can also access the same models in Olama Chat UI, so here, I will select the Gamma 3 4B model that I have downloaded, and I will just start a chat here. And yeah, we can see it responded immediately. But if I try to use an uninstalled model, uh, for example, maybe Quen3, send a chat message, and you can see here that Olama wants to download the model first. 
And that's how you run models in Olama Chat UI. Now, if you are a developer, you surely want to know how to use these Olama models from your program. Aside from running AI models from the chat interface and command line, Olama also exposed an HTTP API that you can access programmatically. This means you can send messages to Olama models from anything that can send HTTP requests like curl, Python, or JavaScript code. To see if the server is running, I want you to open your browser and then go to HTTP localhost 11434 as shown here and then press enter. Now you should see this Olama is running message from the address, but in case you see an error like this, then it means the Olama server is not yet running. To fix that, open your command line and then type olama surf. This should start the server and you should now see the olama running message. Normally, you shouldn't need to do this, but in case the server is not running for some reason, then this is how you fix it. Next, you can use code to access this olama API. So on the screen here, I have some Python code that I have written for this demo. The requests model from Python is used to send an HTTP request to olama. This means you need to use pip to install the package first. And once the package is installed, the next step is to write the Olama chat endpoint, which is the local host address slash API slash chat. After that, we have a Python function here named call Olama, which takes a prompt string. Inside the function, we need to define the payload that will be sent to Olama, such as the model we want to call and the message. Next, we send a request using the requests.post function to the Olama endpoint URL along with our JSON payload. We also set the streaming mode to true here so that we can see the model actually typing the response rather than waiting for the whole response to be generated before displaying it. And then below here, we have the code for handling the response. In summary, we just iterate over the response and print it to the screen. And then after that, we will have an input call to ask the user for the prompt to send to the model. After that, we call Olama to handle that prompt. All right, let's quickly test this. So here in the terminal, I will just run python main.py and Python will ask for a question here. I will just say hello to the model. And here's the response from the model, which is gamma 3 4 b So far so good, but there's actually an easier way to use Olama through code. And that is by using the Olama Python library. The Olama Python library is simply a set of functions that make it easier to interact with Olama through Python. Here's some example code of using the library, and as you can see here, it's pretty much easier to chat with a model using this library. You just need to call the chat function, send the parameters, and then iterate over the streamed response. So let's try it out. I have the same code copied and modified a bit here. And then we need to install Olama using pip. So in the terminal, just run pip install Olama. I already did that previously, so next, run the Python code again as shown here. And here, Python asks us for a question again, and I can type anything I want here, and then a response will be given by the gamma tree model. So as you can see, the Olama Python library makes it easier to interact with AI models. We just have 15 lines of code here instead of the first script, uh, which has around 30 lines. And that's it for this session. There is actually a lot more you can do with the Olama Python library. If we go to the examples on the GitHub page here, you can list all models, create or copy an existing model, as well as removing models. Basically, any operation that you can do in the command line can be done using the API as well. But overall, that's how you can use Olama to run open source AI models locally. It gives you a secure, private, and free way to interact with AI with a chat interface similar to ChatGPT or Cloud. Plus, it's accessible from the command line and through an HTTP API, so developers can really customize and experiment with it. And since it's open source, the community is constantly improving it, adding new features, fixing bugs, and making sure it stays reliable and up to date. And that brings us to the end of this tutorial. So, what do you think about Olama? I encourage you to try it out for yourself and let me know about your experiences. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code with Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye.